The South Pacific is a place of natural wonder. A land where time slows down amid the calm and peaceful scenes of living creation. A place where the gentle strumming of island music creates a mellow mood fit for rest and relaxation. But nothing is more soothing than the sounds of nature. From the crashing waves on white sandy beaches, to the rustling coconut trees swaying in the cool island breeze, the falling rain, the singing birds, the babbling brook, the clapping waterfalls and the rushing rivers. But of all the sounds of nature, nothing is quite like the whale song. The serenading of these gentle giants was first recorded by accident at a top secret hydrophone station off the coast of Bermuda. Naval engineers were listening for Russian submarines, but instead they captured calling sounds from the deep. Upon examining the recordings, the startling discovery was made that there was system and structure in the songs. There was rhyming and repetition, order and arrangement. Songs would range from six to 30 minutes in duration, slightly evolving year by year, ever expanding in complexity and creativity. Like the sweet serenading of a man to his lover, male humpbacks in the same general vicinity would sing the same song during breeding season. The winner of this aquatic song competition was chosen by female humpbacks, looking for the sweetest singer to father their offspring. The syntax of the song structure suggested an intelligence far beyond the linear language of chirping birds, mooing cows, barking dogs, or roaring lions. Considered as one of the most complex forms of communication in the animal kingdom, the whale song is a massive mystery. But unfortunately, whales were hunted by the tens of thousands each year, slaughtered to the point of near extinction. But when the world heard these gentle giants speak from the deep for the first time, the rising awareness of their intelligence and beauty ignited a worldwide movement to save the whales a movement leading to the laws we have today to protect and preserve these magnificent creatures. Upon hearing their voice, we wanted to do all we could to cause their sufferings to cease. We heard their cries and thus wanted to save their lives. Here in the tiny islands of Tonga, we've had the incredible privilege of swimming with the humpbacks and hearing their love language firsthand. At up to 50 feet in length and 79,000 pounds in weight, you feel very small, weak and vulnerable swimming next to these massive mammals. But our encounters with them the past few days has given us a glimpse into the character of the Creator who fashioned them with intelligence and design. Powerful and yet peaceful, strong and yet subtle, giant and yet gentle, massive and yet majestic, our God is the same. Our powerful Creator is also kind and compassionate. The majesty of the heavens is also the meek and lowly one. The sovereign of the universe is also the sweet singer of Israel, who rejoices over us in love. It is he whom Zephaniah wrote of when he spoke, the Lord your God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love, and he will joy over thee with singing. And just like the whale song, the Lord sings over us in everlasting love. We are the joy and the rejoicing of his infinite heart. And he desires us to hear his voice that we might know his heart, to hear his song that we might experience his salvation. And those who choose to dive deep in the ocean of His Word will hear the Savior's song of salvation to us. And in that sweet salvation song, we will discover complexity, structure, intelligence, beauty, creativity, and design. Design that is calculated to capture our imagination and to convict our hearts. And so today I invite you to pause, go deeper, be still, listen, and listen carefully. And as you do, the ear of faith will hear the sweet harmonies of the heavenly song of salvation, a song that will literally take your breath away.